I always looked at ceremonies as everybody's equal on that day. Everybody's name is the most important name that's being called. Everybody deserves their moment in time as they walk across that stage because everybody has worked as hard as they can in order to get that diploma. Graduation ceremonies are, are really a symbol for the students. They're a symbol for the parents and, and the relatives of, of an accomplishment. Even though it, it's just a symbol and a ceremony, I do think it's important because I think it, it's an opportunity for people to come together and to celebrate. It's all different. For some of them, they see it as an ending. For some of them, they see it as a beginning. Some of them see it as this huge accomplishment. And, and I think, you know, just being able to lead a district where people want kids to be successful and that students take pride in that day and then that, that accomplishment, I did this. Uh, I think, you know, it's just important. I think it's just pomp and circumstance. When it comes on, it's emotional for me. For me, it's a symbol of the end, you know, and, and as a principal, I would look, I would see this is the last time I'm gonna see these students together. And, and you know, to hear the kids talk, this is the last time that we will be together as a collective body, and they're right. They will, it will never be the same because you're all gonna go your separate ways. I think if I had to say my favorite part is listening and watching the personalization that the school gives to their ceremony. They always tie it to something that has happened that's unique to this class. I love it when they post the colors. I, I like shaking their hands as they walk across the stage, uh, listening to their names being called. Uh, I, I like it all. There's not much about graduation that I don't like. I started out my career as a teacher and a coach and absolutely loved those days. And I always just had this drive to be the best I could be at the job I was doing. And uh, you've heard me say this in trainings with teachers, if you want to be an administrator, be the best teacher on the staff because the next opportunity will come up for you. And so every position I got, I just, I have to be the best. I have to be the best. And I think for me, it was just that, that inner drive to be the best and then what will happen for you if you are the best in that position and that, that the opportunity that's going to come to you will come because you've earned it. It didn't come to me because I was in the right place at the right time. It was because, you know, I earned it. unique connection between teachers and students and I think that unique connection is that accountability but yet with a heart and I think that you know as, as all of us go back in time and look at those teachers who had the greatest impact on us it always wasn't the ones that uh, required the least of us it was the ones who required more of us and held us accountable to a higher standard but they did it with a sense of purpose and a sense of, of love that we knew this is right and what they're doing to me is, is preparing me for whatever I'm going to be doing. And, and I think the, the students see that. They, they, they appreciate it when people are willing to, uh, to do both.
started to say, this is my last time to uh, say to a, a group of students this, uh, you know, you've met the state and the local board of requirements, but it's not about me. And that day is not about me. And to, that would have been selfish of me to have done that. I, I felt like that it's their moment. You know, don't, take, don't distract from their moment by any reason possible. So I, I guess the moment for me was, was when I walked out and like I said, I was walking out of the, the Dunn Center and there was a young man that I'd seen him at the graduations and I don't know if he was just working them or, or whatever, but he remarked to me, are you okay? And I said, I'm fine. And, and then he said to me, you know, I was, he said, I was going to leave. And he said, I, I just, and he said, I just wanted to come back and hear you say it one more time. And uh, like I said, I had two lines in the whole thing that probably didn't mean anything to him, but to me, it was, it was knowing that this is it.